most high shall abide under the shame of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God in him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowl, fowler and from the noise and pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers and under his wings shall I trust his truth shall be the shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the error that follows the day by day, nor for the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor for the destruction that voices in noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come by me. Only with thine eyes shall I behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high, thy habitation, there shall no evil befall thee, neither shall thy plague come thy dwelling. For he shall give him angels charge of thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall hear thee up in their hands, and lest thy back foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and arrow, the young lion and the dragon shall thou trample under thy feet. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him, I will set him. High because he hath known my name. Yes. 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 He shall call upon me, and I will answer. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Amen. May the Lord bless the reading of the word. Amen. May the Lord bless the reader and the May the Lord bless all that hear, all that conform. In the name of Jesus, yes. Lord. Amen. 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 Before we sing our next uh, second song, I just want to share something with the congregation uh, on today and solicit your prayers. Uh, on Friday, uh, well, actually, they began last Tuesday. I started having some heart fluttering and, and some palpitations going on. And so Wednesday, I was in the doctor's office and they did some labs and did EKG and all that came back fine. And then um, Thursday, I, I still have my cord from 14 years ago from my chemo from breast cancer. So anyway, I went out and had my cord flushed and they told me that my blood pressure was elevated. And it normally is when I go there. I don't know if it's the white coat syndrome or whatever, but it was 170 something over about 90 something or whatever. And um, I said, okay, but I'm, we have a nurse on my job. So I went back to work and I waited about 15 or 20 minutes and I had her to recheck my blood pressure and so she took it and she said, Lisa, your blood pressure is up, it's elevated, it was 180 over 100. Mm -hmm. So I got my stuff up and I um, well before I did, I called back to the infusion center and I said, hey, my blood pressure really is up. I said, what do you think I should do? And so they said, well, I know you probably really don't want to go to the ER. Well, nobody wants to go to the ER. You got all this other stuff going on out there or whatever. And so they said, maybe you go to your physician and see what they suggest doing. So I went there, she's on vacation. Uh, the other doctors were busy, and so they uh, directed me on to the ER. I went to the ER, and I was out there three or four hours getting tests done and um, labs done, and they had me hooked up on the heart monitor. Well, matter of fact, I still have my heart monitor, but they would, uh, whatever it's called, where, they, where they're checking your heart, uh, checking your heart. And they did uh, EKG, and it was fine. And then anyway, they ended up giving me some medicine through an IV to bring my blood pressure down. So when it came down, they told me that it was at a rate where they, they're not treating it because it's not considered a danger zone, just following the doctor. But anyway, I said all that to say, so yesterday, um, Rita called and she was reminding me I had to do devotion. And I said, well, I don't know if I'm going to be able to pull it off. I really, I was on the couch all day yesterday for the most part of the day and, and Friday evening. So yesterday evening, I did start feeling somewhat better. But anyway, this morning, as I got up, I was trying to get ready for Sunday school. The 
Lord, just drop in my spirit. As long as I live and troubles rise, I'll hasten to his throne. I love the Lord, and he heard my cry, and I am feeling so much better on today. I just want to ask you all to continue to pray for me. Uh, and victory is mine. In spite of the heart palpitations, whatever's going on, the elevated blood pressures, and, and that doesn't mean that we're not going to check things out or whatever. I'm just declaring that victory is mine. So that's our point. Lord God, and you can affect the things which concerns us, Lord 
God. We pray, Lord God, that your will will be done, Lord God, in each and every one of our lives, Lord God. Not our will, Lord God, but your will, Father, today. Lord God, shape us and make us and mold us, God, into what you would have us to be, Lord God. We pray, Lord God, that you will order our steps, Lord God, as we go forward in this service, Lord God. We pray, Lord God, that our hearts and our our minds will be open and receptive to what thus says the Lord, Father. We thank you right now, Lord God, for just being God and God alone, Lord God. Father, we pray, Lord God, that you would just have dominion over the atmosphere today, Lord God. And Father, Lord God, we just give you praise and we give you glory and we give you honor. We lift up, Lord God, the leaders, Lord God, of this house, Lord God. We lift up the leaders of our country, Lord God. We pray, Lord God, that you would just continue, Lord God, to lead us and guide us, Father God. It will not lead to our own understanding, but in all our ways, we will we'll acknowledge you and that you will direct our paths, Father. We just thank you, Lord God, for all things, God, and we give you praise, glory, and honor on today. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Now we'll open up the floor for any testimony. Amen. Oh, my God, this is another day. Always oh, see one time. The chicks testified, thank God, we have the same day. Always testified. Thank God, it's a blessing. I've been the best of help. There's something about the name Jesus. Yes. Something about the name Jesus. As you all know, I've been going through, going through, and I found myself having to call on Jesus. Even you know, going through the different tests and they come back with and all that, I take take the little walker, stand up and head out, and I just say, Jesus, <laughs> help me, Jesus. <laughs> Cover my mind, Jesus. Yes. Remind me of who you are. Yes. There's a scripture where someone said, help my unbelief. Yeah. Help my unbelief. Yeah. And so I just want to witness to uh, uh, give a testimony. That God is who he says he is. Yes. It's a matter, some of us need that, that key word is faith. Yes. Faith in God. Yes. That he's going to keep you yes. through any situation. Yes, cry. Yes, be upset. Why God me? All of that. Now, I ain't going to lie. That kind of stuff seeps into your mind. Yes. Yes. You know, I, I, it just gets me these folks that's cool with the Holy Ghost and nothing ever happens. <laughs> Yes, but pain in my hand. 
Yeah, I'm God. able to move my fingers. Yeah, I know they're restricted by the bandages, but move my fingers in such a way that I know my hand is going to be stronger yeah. than it ever has been. Yeah. And I just thank God that God. He gave me the courage to go ahead and, again, I don't like to give up some of I had to give up a lot of stuff. <laughs> Opening up my own bottles, you know, right. your bottle of water and all right. that. Mm -hmm. But God saw me through it. He gave me um, peace about it. Even during the times when it was hurting so badly that I, I didn't even want to, I refused to take the medication because it does all other stuff to me. But he was right there for me. Every Amen. step of the way. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. 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 Amen.
almost daily seizures for me. And so for the past two months, they're not daily anymore, so I'm going maybe a week at a time. I went three weeks last month um, with them only having like a couple of them versus several a day. And so my migraines are still crazy with like the vertigo, but I mean, he took a lot of that off with the seizures, and I'm so grateful for that because I can get up a little more than I could, and I just kind of got some hope that maybe I'll get better.
let me uh, live to all of my, I know I have like diabetes and uh, high blood pressure and you know, I've been having problems with my eyes, but God's been good to me. Yes, yes. And uh, Black God Church and all churches open up, open up in your name this whole, in this whole world. In the name of Jesus, amen. 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 I want to just say one thing about um, I just want y'all to give prayer. Uh, Pulley, William Morris Pulley, he passed away. Um, it's a hard one for me and his family. Uh, William lived with Kelly Garrett, and he also lived with me and Mariah and Mariah's dad for a while in Atlanta. Right. So it's a hard one how he had to go out, but God was ready to, you know, take him on. Yeah. Just pray someone is supposed to be taking me and driving me there. So just pray for us as we do the home. Is there anyone else to share their testimony on this morning? The word of God says that he watches over his word to perform it, and it shall not return unto him void. And that lets us know this on a mission that's already accomplished. Amen. 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 We just thank you for taking part in devotion on this morning. God bless you all. Amen. Amen.
to, I'm, I'm talking to 40, 50 men strong. Uh, when Eric and I go to service, there are 40 to 50 men strong. And, 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 uh, and I always ask, are there any new uh, men to show up? And in, there's just been so many instances where there would be, you know, two, three, four new brothers that would come in. To share. And so uh, I, I'm saying all this to say that in listening to the testimony and, and the subject matter of so many, of so much of the testimony testifying. So I asked the brothers, I, I said, you know, you have any questions, you know, anything like that? I mean, I, I don't know if I'm going to have just every answer. See? So, but anyway, so one of, one, of the, uh, one of my Hispanic brothers that stood up and said, uh, he wanted to ask something about me. Senior in the Lord, uh, he uh, he was he had some issue, and he said he said I've been he said I've been witnessing to the to the pimps to the thugs in here. I've been and he named a few. I've been witnessing. He said and uh, he said I just don't I just don't see what good is done. He said, man, and he pointed to me, he said, he said, he said, these brothers, they know, they know when they see you, they see the real deal. Oh, yeah. He said, brother Juan, he, he, he said, man, he said, don't, he said, don't let the adversary do you like that. And so, and so he, he got the mention of, uh, you know, some, some scripture and things like that and that, and I just, <laughs> I was in the job standing there with my arm folded. I said, ah, oh, I'll be dog back. Then another brother, another brother, he raised his hand. He said, Oh why? Man, he said, how you how you witness it, how you stand, and so on and so forth, and that kind of thing. So and I'm standing next to one of them. And they couldn't see. But man, the tears started flowing down his face. Yeah. And, and you know, he, he's, a, he's a proud brother uh, and that kind of thing. But man, so another one popped up across the room. Huh? And he watched this, and he didn't even know Juan's name. He said, brother. He said, man, he said, I know about you. He said, and the example that you set and so on and so forth, he said, I want you to, you encourage me. Yeah. And that was a, that was a elderly guy, an elderly brother there. Raised his hand, he wanted, he said, uh, but uh, there was a younger, uh, younger man that he was, I knew he was new there. I had never seen him before, 22 years old. And so I'm going to share with him that I, I lived in uh, St. Louis County and so on and so forth. And uh, this happened that this, brother, this young man was from East St. Louis. And so, and, and, and in, my, uh, in my message, I was talking a little bit about young men and that kind of thing. His generation, and so he got up and he had. He said, he said, he said well, he said, uh, he said if 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 uh, he said if older folk would just listen, yeah, if older folk would just listen sometime, listen sometime, and uh, and uh, and one and other brother, it's just not so much about telling folk what they shouldn't do, but what they shouldn't be doing, and all sorts of kind of things, and so on and so forth. And so as the young man was talking. I asked him what church was he on to see if I was familiar with uh, 
he said, well, no, nah. he said, you probably won't be familiar with us. You know, we're not a large church or anything like that. He said, but it's, it's, it's just the idea of him being um, shunned uh, away from the church because of us. And, and such as it is, these men, I'm, and I'm just trying to tell you, I got witness. I, I, I'm grateful, so very grateful to Eric. You know, I always ask Eric. I said, "Man, I said, Eric, you wanna you wanna say anything to the brothers before we uh, before we get started?" He said, well, "No, I'll just let you deal with it." <laughs> uh, no, not really. No, I said, "Okay, well, I, but I'm, I'm I'm asking." Uh, but but they always they always come and greet Eric and thank him for coming, and certainly I do too. Thank you for coming, but but I'm, I'm trying to say to you that the testimony that went forth now, and we didn't leave out of there until, well, fact I didn't get home until nine nine something last night uh, because now watch this now I'm going I'm going to go to I'm going to prison I'm going to prison I'm going to get out of prison and I'm going to go see Mother Hill I'm going to go see Brother Up Church I'm going to stop by to see Mother Bless Old right. No. <laughs> no, no, no. Don't stop by see Pop Bates. No, I, I, got it. I got what I'm going to do. I said, I'm going to visit. I'm going to get these three or four stops here, and then uh, they put me right at about 7, about 7 o'clock or so. But, uh, man, I messed around. And, and uh, after I dropped off Eric, uh, it was around 5. You know, well, uh, we went and, went and got something to eat. And, Chopped it up a little bit, and uh, uh, you know, by the time I dropped here, it was about 5 30 or so. And so I said, Well, so I'm gonna stop by the church and take a look, see, and that kind of thing, just to keep myself abreast of where everything is. And so I didn't, so I, man, I, I messed around and stayed at the church till uh, that end up 7 30, 8 o'clock or something, walking around with lights and stuff, uh, uh, just checking everything out. And so again, I didn't, I didn't get home. It was a good day. Amen. Uh, it, it really was a good day. And, and I'm saying to you that uh, these men, these men encourage me like they really don't, maybe they really don't get and the like. But uh, please, ma'am, please, sir, as the, as the Lord will bring those who are incarcerated to your mind and your heart, uh, there's a nation in jail. Uh, literally. Literally, there's a there's a nation in jail, and what I say to these men, uh, you know, and, and I I use this motion, you know, I say I wish I could just take y'all right on over to SBC. You know? <laughs> I said, man, I, because and see now, the thing about those men and there are so many of them, they just want somebody that's genuine. Amen. You hear what I'm saying? Right. I, I said to that young man, and I don't, I don't make, I don't make any bones about this, you all. Uh, the, the, the young brother there that does not have that example uh, that he knows of in East St. Louis and whatnot. Uh, what I, what I would say to him is, you, you give me an opportunity. And what I would say to any man, it's not about so much, you know, how. Awesome, my words are, and that kind of thing, and so on and so forth. Uh, but it is about what I can say to you that I live 24 7. You hear what I'm saying? Oh, right. oh, oh not without mistakes. I, 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 I fall to sometimes. But, but just understand this it would have nothing to do with my fellowship of the Lord. See, even in the instances where where I screw up, where I, where I have, where I have been short, and just so I'm clear, where I have sinned, you need to know I do, I do not wallow in sin. Amen. I don't, I, I don't wallow in sin. And if, if such a, if such an issue comes in my life, where my very presence in the way of leadership would be an offense against the name of the church and against our Savior. I promise you, I won't be there. Mm -hmm. This is, the, the church is too important yeah. 
for the eternity of folk. And, and once, once we have it about ourselves, and, and even can share with our, with our young people, but it especially, and, and I said this to them, I, I, once again, I'm glad I have a witness, I said this to them, see, the, the impact that those men can have wherever they go, because God has given the man a position to take. Not belittling our, our, our dear mothers, our dear sisters at all, but there is a place that a man does have in the sight of God. Mm -hmm. Such as it is, we are. We are building and building and building and building upon, well, you know, the women were neglected for so long and they need to be really, watch this here. I'm not, I'm not taking away from how the women have been neglected. I'm not taking away from how even there's been abuses of sorts of what they could uh, uh, contribute. You get what I'm saying? It's, it's not about that. It's about what has happened. Uh, what has happened to the family. What has happened to the church. And what has happened in the way of how we let the world know who Jesus is. I don't know how long I got that coming, but I'm going to be shouting it from the rooftops with my legs. With my legs, I don't know how long I'm going to be able to do that kicking thing. I I'm, I'm, I'm hoping the Lord going to let me take out the pop of bits. I'm going to come up more. I'm going to come up here. But Papa, Papa May, somebody say don't do it. But Papa May, Papa May say I'm kicking, but not high. And now he's saying I'm, I'm, I'm kicking, not high as I used to kick when I wasn't kicking high. Amen. But he's still kicking. Amen. All right, y'all. Just wanted to share that with you. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day on yesterday. The brother, the father there, the men, the father that service. And, and uh, one of the brothers even told, he addressed the brother, he said, he said, brothers, take note of this. He said, this never happened before. He said, we're supposed to be in lockdown. And here we are. And so I, I went to the CEO after, I said, I, said, I just want to thank you. I said, I know in the room, and uh, <laughs> It was a young lady. She said, well, she said, well, no, no, no thanks is really necessary. She said, she said uh, I didn't know you were supposed to be gone. <laughs> In God do. Amen. Because the brothers need to be encouraged. Preacher, I was just standing up there, man, they were going out. I said, what, what, what you say? What you say? What you say?
taken out of the gospel according to Matthew chapter 26, verses 26 through 30. Everybody with me? And as they were eating, Jesus took bread and blessed it, break it, and gave it to the disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body. Well, this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for many for the remission of sins. finances, be it mothers, fathers, husbands, wives, children. Some of us don't have a job. Some of us are just in such a binded way, Lord, that if the adversary would have his way with us, we would take our own lives. These are these are certainly just a few instances of the burdenness of this world, Father. And, and even as we, as we share verbally such things as are on our minds and our hearts, I, I, I pray that these who are under the sound of my voice, I pray that they have enough about themselves to know that uh, right now it is a con congregational prayer. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but it is individually applied. Mm -hmm. And so as we as we pray together, mm -hmm. certainly we have ourselves uh, in the commonplace of our prayer. Yeah. Uh, gracious Master, and, and not being selfish, for certainly uh, you teach us, and you know, you're teaching us better uh, how we ought to Think of the other greater than ourselves. Mm -hmm. These are lessons, Heavenly Father, that the flesh just really does not want to have. Uh, these are lessons, dear God, that the, that relic of, of the sinful nature that is always about us, not in control, but the sinful nature is always about us. Mm -hmm. Even, Master, as Paul relates, when he would do good, evil is always present. And so help us to have that about ourselves and not to let the fact that evil is always present help us to realize that we have the power and authority to resist the devil. Yes. And for those of us, dear God, who are, who are experiencing to whatever degree and in what 
some aspect of, of sickness uh, in our in our limbs, dear God, in our in our very minds, some of us are are, are, are dealing with some issues. Lord, I thank you yes. that you are a mind regulator. Yes. And, 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 and Heavenly Father have heard that since I was a little boy and, and, and really didn't get it, Master, until my mind got jacked. Yeah. And, and, I, and I needed yeah. Yeah. I needed something other than what a psychologist could provide. Yeah. I needed something other than psychic, psychiatric care mm. could provide. Heavenly Father, thank you for your Holy Spirit. Yes. Master, you said, you said that, that it was, it was for <laughs> us if we would trust you, yes. that we could have the very mind of Christ. Yes. Though we don't know the fullness, the fullness of what that is like, yes. thank you for being our instructor. Thank you. thank you for being the one that is, you only are able to apply that mind. Thank you for the Holy Spirit whereby we can exercise yeah. walking, talking, thinking like Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Those of us who, are, who have the loved ones, dear God, who are yet in that way of some point of malady in their limbs or in their minds, certainly lift them before you, Lord. Yeah. For there's great instruction. We may not get the fullness of that until the day when we see you face to face. But that is, that is great instruction that comes from suffering. Mm -hmm. It causes Yes, yes, Father. Anyway, Master, I, I, uh, I just want to lift this, uh, these things before you, dear God, uh, our, our, our government, our country, uh, the leadership thereof, uh, gracious Master, first and foremost, we can pray about different policies and things like that, Master, but, but ours is to pray for the souls of the one that makes the policies. Yes. Uh, Master, they help us. Yes. Help us to ever keep that in mind, that, that there is nothing that is impossible for you. Yes. And uh, a teacher says better than better uh, to keep you at the forefront of our going forward. Yes. That men would see Jesus in us. Yes. And that to whatever degree it can happen, Master, there will be some that, that observe our living, that, that observe how things that anger us, how we deal with those things. There are, there are those that, that are observing our living as how we deal with the adversities that come our way through people, through our own selves, Master. There's somebody observing to see just how Jesus is going to deal with it. Yes. So we thank you. Yeah. That you are, you you promised and that certainly you never made a promise that you did not keep. Amen. You never would leave us, Amen. never would forsake us. And you got us, Lord. I thank you. Thank you.
With these things in mind, ever, ever your instructed word and spirit. We all say together, Amen. 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 All righty then. Study prayer meeting 
uh, Sunday school, huge. We you to know the word of God. So here's what prompted Trooper Parker did. I shared with someone else to confirm. But what prompted Trooper Parker did, we don't know the, we don't know the speaker, right? That's going to be speaking at the breakfast. Okay? So my challenge to you is. I'm going to give you the scripture that they are using for the prayer breakfast. I'm going to share with you the theme that they have for the prayer breakfast. My challenge to you is study it to know what it's about in that scripture. That way, when the speaker speaks, you'll know what they're talking about and if they are in the context of the scripture. So I'm looking at it as a learning uh, challenge for us. Okay? So the, I'm going to tell you what it is, but I have a couple of flyers, and you can go online also on our website, and you'll see the flyer. And so the <clears throat> it's a relevant, relevant word, Psalms 119, 89 through 90. Don't just read 89 through 90. Read that whole thing and get the context. Who's talking? Who is he talking to? You know what I'm saying? And to receive. And then um, the topic says for restless times and they have 1 Corinthians 15 uh, looks like 57 through 58. Okay? I also have a couple of flyers if you want to grab one. I'm challenging you to study that word. Guess what? When we get through going there and having that prayer breakfast and that scripture, mm -hmm. we're going to get together. I'll get help, help, the Lord going to have to help me with it, but we're going to get together and discuss what we learned studying and what we heard. Amen. Amen. Sister so Park wants you to know all you can know about the Word of God and be able to discern, there you go. discern the truth of the gospel. Amen. 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 So you see some Creda if you want a <coughs> packet. Please, ma'am, concern, let me know what's going on as far as you're going. And also, I will need the funds by next Sunday. And again, if you need to talk to me, come talk to me because I want you to be there. Okay? Amen. 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 Oh, I ready to pass for the part. <laughs> Study to show thyself what? Amen. I don't see any visitors here, but we want to say to those that are watching us on the web, we want to welcome you to Second Baptist Church. And anytime God leads you this way, we ask you to worship with us. We thank everybody that came today, and we pray that you come again. And I do, uh, last Sunday, I asked for a prayer for my daughter to get back to Atlanta safely, and she did. And I just thank those that prayed with me for that. Um, at this time, we want the April birthdays. We know Brother Dan and Dean. We know who you are.
Father, we thank you now for <coughs> this that has been presented for your blessing, even for your glory. It's in Jesus' name we thank you in advance for the multiplication thereof, for kingdom work. And then we say, Amen. Amen.
say it like this.
Because if that's the truth, then I know I'm scared. Because if he would turn his back on his son, if he turned his back on his son, certainly. What you say now? I ain't got nothing going. If he, if he turned away from Jesus, come on. Here. So anyway, I'm glad. <laughs> I'm glad that uh, he said he would never leave us. Amen. Isn't that good news? Yeah. Good news. Yeah. All right, then. Um, just for a few minutes, I'll be. Uh, <coughs> uh, turn with me to Matthew chapter nine, and then um, Matthew chapter nine, and then uh, John. Chapter 16. I mean, I said Matthew. I mean, Mark chapter 9. Mark chapter 9. This will be a, this will be a familiar uh, text to so many of us, if not all of us. Mark chapter 9. Uh, and I'm going to start reading at the first. Verse 1, and I'm going to read now to verse 10, okay? And I'm reading from the New King James, a version that reads. <clears throat> and he said to them, and, uh, this is Jesus talking to the apostles, disciples. And he said to them, Amen. Come on in, brother. Have a sit down. All right. Thank you, sir. Good news. Glad to see you. Glad to see you. Thank you. And he said to them, Assuredly, I say to you, that there are some standing here who will not taste death till they see the kingdom of God present with power. Now after six days, Jesus took Peter, James, and John and led them up on a high mountain apart by themselves. And he was transfigured before them. Mm -hmm. His clothes became shining, exceedingly white, like snow, such as no launderer on earth can whiten them. And Elijah appeared to them with Moses, and they talking with Jesus. Mm -hmm. Then Peter answered and said to Jesus, Rabbi, teacher, it is good for us to be here. Let us make three tabernacles, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. Because he didn't know what to say, because they were scared. Right? A cloud came overshadowed them, and a voice came out of the cloud, saying, This is my beloved son, hear him. Mm -hmm. Suddenly, when they looked around, they saw no one anymore but Jesus <coughs> with them said. Mm -hmm. Now as they came down from the mountain, he commanded them that they should tell no one the things they had seen, till the Son of Man had risen from the dead. Right. So they kept this word to themselves, questioning what the rising from the dead meant. Mm. I got that? Mm. Okay. Go over with me to uh, John 16. John 16, we'll read a few more verses here. John 16. Are you watching pages? Go ahead. Y'all with me? Okay. John 16. These things, verse, uh, chapter, uh, verse 1. Uh, these things uh, I've spoken to you that you should not 
be made to stumble. They will put you out of the synagogues. Yes, the time is coming that whoever kills you will think he offers God service. Mm -hmm. These things they will do to you because they have not known the Father nor me. Okay. All right? But these things I've told you that when the time comes, mm -hmm. you may remember that I told you of them and these things I did not say to you at the beginning. I want you to stick. He says, and these things I didn't tell you at the beginning. That's what he said. Mm -hmm. Because I was with you. Right. The insinuation is there's going to be a time when I'm not. Okay, right. Okay. <coughs> but now, but now I go away to him who sent me, and none of you ask me where you're going. Mm -hmm. But because I've said these things to you, sorrow has filled your heart. Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is, watch this, it is to your advantage that I go away. Because if I don't go away, the helper or the comforter will not come to you. But if I depart, I will send him to you. And when he has come, he will convict the world of sin and of righteousness and of judgment. Of sin because they don't believe in me. Righteousness. Because I go to my father and you see me no more of judgment because the ruler of this world is judged. Mm -hmm. I still have many things to say to you, but you cannot bear them when? Now. And they all said amen. 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 Okay, here. I, I wanted to uh, highlight if, if the Lord if, if the Lord be pleased. Uh, oh, it marked uh, as, as, as you read about Jesus, uh, about this particular time in the, in, the, uh, in the life of Christ, the ministry of Christ, he takes these three of the apostles, Peter, James, and John, and they go to uh, a high place, a mountain, uh, top of a mountain, right? Mm -hmm. They go to a high place, and it's there... That Jesus is, and the word that we have in translation is transfigured. Um, and it gives a description. It tells you about his garment, how his garment uh, took on a sheen, took on a shine that no wanderer in the world could ever produce. He was, he had on some, he was shining, wasn't he? <laughs> and so, so then Peter all was up, he said, you know what? He said, it's good for us to be here, to see this. We're going to build a tabernacle for you, a tabernacle for Elijah, a tabernacle for Moses. It's good for us to be here, right? Right. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and so the, uh, the scene goes on, and uh, a cloud comes, uh, a cloud comes and covers them all, and they hear out of the cloud, this is my beloved son, whom I'm well pleased. Hear him, right? Then it says that as the cloud uh, was raised, that <coughs> no one was there anymore except Jesus alone. But what I want to highlight, though, is, now watch this. After, after a scene, an event like that in the life of these three men, okay? An event like that in the life of these three men, they're on their way down, the mountain. And as they're on their way down, Jesus said, don't tell anybody what you saw. Uh -huh. right? right? He said, come on now. Man, you, you see what we just saw? I can't wait to get down. Uh -huh. And on the way down, Jesus says, don't tell anybody what you saw. Uh -huh. Watch this now. Don't tell them until I rise from the dead. Mm -hmm. And listen, and I stick a pin in this. God wants us to have this about ourselves. He says, don't you go giving any information, giving that testimony until I have risen from the dead. Yeah. And this is how this is what they thought. That, well, what the heck does he mean until he's risen from the dead? What, the heck? what is rising from the dead gonna do? Can you believe that? <laughs> and, and, and listen, you all. They walked 
and talked with Jesus. They saw Jesus do all of these things. And yet, when it came down to the principle or aspects of our faith, just in almost every instance, they were in disbelief, or they were ignorant, or they didn't understand. Y'all got that? Right. Until the resurrection of Christ. Uh -huh. Watch this now. Because what happens after the resurrection? John tells us. Yes. Jesus said, when I rise, I'm going to go back to the Father. Yeah. Right. And what I'm doing when I go back, I go back for your justification, for your righteousness sake. Mm -hmm. I says now, but now when I go back, I'm going to send somebody. Yes. Right. Y'all yes. feel me? Yes. Okay, my sister. When I go back, I'm going to send somebody. Yes. When I rise from the dead yes. and send somebody, then go talk to me. Yes. Yes. Come on here. Right. See, see, too many folks trying to talk about Jesus and ain't got Jesus. The question is, has he risen in you? Yes. After the Holy Ghost has come upon you, yes. you shall receive. You not you might. Jesus gave them this promise. He said, when I go to the Father, and just understand this here. He said, I, I, I tell you, I'm going to, I'm going away, I'm going to the Father, and none of y'all ask me where am I going? <laughs> yeah. Do you believe that? Mm. What does his rising from the dead mean? Mm. Yeah. yeah. He's going to send somebody. That person, that power, that heavenly energy yeah. is going to be something, do something, is something in us. Yeah. And if you never witness for Christ, mm -hmm. right. they, they talk about the percentile of, of the folk <laughs> in America that if you ask them, uh, so many of them are going to say, well, I'm a Christian, I'm a Christian. You are not a follower of Christ and you don't witness for him. Amen. Amen. Well, you know, I don't walk around with a Bible in my hand and, and that kind of thing. That's how I come sometimes too. I, I think I've said this to you before. Uh, it, it would be something for me to see me if, if I wasn't in the preaching ministry. It, would, it really would be something for me to see me because there are so many folk, they look at the opportunities that I have, and just understand this. I know men that have said God called them to preach, mm -hmm. but they don't preach. Mm -hmm. The Bible plainly says this. This does not take interpretation. Your gifts yes. will yes. make room for you. Amen. It doesn't matter if you're a slave. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter if you are a sickly person. It, it doesn't matter what, what issue that this life has you in, no, no matter what your condition. If God is with you, yes. 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 he didn't say you might be a witness for me. Right. You will. And unless there is witnessing, unless I am not talking about walking around. Do you know that the Lord God has a plan for your life? <laughs> and see, even when you and, and, and listen, listen, I, I'm you know I, I, I chuckle a little bit at that because see, when well, some, somebody comes like it up, do you know that, that that God has a plan for your life? Because watch this here, see now, the plan for unbelievers is to go to hell. Amen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna say that to you one more time. <laughs> God does have a plan for everybody. That's right. That's right. But just see, but they ask, oh, does God have a plan for you? Because see, you could be on your way to hell. Yeah. 
And, and listen, and you need to get the full old presentation of what God's plan is. God did. He saw the world and who saw it. And see, and see, even in John 3.16, it says, For God so loved the world that whosoever, whosoever is a distinction. Yes. Whosoever believe it. That means that whosoever does not believe it. So then, don't go talking about Jesus if you don't know about it. Amen. That's how come it's important to take the uh, take the fullness of the word of God. Mm -hmm. and, and, and know this. Uh, he, and even the apostle Paul says that a preacher, particularly a pastor or a bishop, should not be a novice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A beginner. I've been preaching since I was 12. You know, I started pastoring when I was 19. You ain't been all that business. That um, pastor, pastor somebody at that um, 20 year old, a bit more than a man. Watch this. Unless you were the only one in the area. <laughs> <laughs> and somebody said, Well, you, you don't know what God has done. I know what the word says. The word says that a bishop. A pastor should not be a novice in the Word of God. And watch this here. You can do like you want to do, but I'll do as best I understand the Scripture to dictate. And that's where we need to be. That's the place that false teachers have over so much of the masses that they instruct. We won't take what they preach. And just like I told you, I was listening to the preachers they talk about, and I said, yeah. And he, and he hung on the I said, yeah. And he hung his head in the back and I said, yeah. He said, and God turned his back on him. I said, no. <laughs> but my sis, while I said no, I could hear the master say, hey, And, and thusly, it's, it's that that Jesus says, when you come down from the mountain, don't say nothing. Because what you're going to, uh, uh, what's going to come out of your mouth will not be, watch this, will not be held up by the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Yeah. You get excited, you know. You know. Yeah. I, I was saying to the brother, I said, yeah, I said, you know, to say, Brother Isaac, Pastor Isaac, he get excited, don't he? He, he, he you know, he's animated. <laughs> I be moving around. And, 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 and I say, yeah. I say, <laughs> and I say, yeah. And, and just understand this here. I don't, I don't care if I'm in the outhouse. If, if I'm, come on here. If, if, if I'm talking about the Lord. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I get animated. All right. That's that's just that's just my fiber. But now, when you get so wrapped up in my animation that there's nothing substantive that you are able to take away for application of living acceptable before God, I have failed. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. It is the word of God. And the substance thereof, the reason that we come together, is for to hear all of the testimony of the God, God and, I, and I heard it. I said, amen, amen. And just understand what I'm saying to you. When you say amen, know what the heck you say the amen about.
He says, there's, there's a lot of things that I want to say to you. But right now, you are not able to bear it. Right. Do y'all hear what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Discipleship is not instantaneous. No. Discipleship takes fellowship. What did I say? Discipleship takes what? Fellowship. And listen, and if you are not a follower of Christ, if any man to come after me, let him first deny himself and do and come after me. Let him take up his cross and what? Follow me.
you think that didn't bless my soul? He said, Pastor, we understand. So when we leave here, we can tell somebody else with understanding. Yes. 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 Bless my soul. Even watch this. And I'm, I'm just this, I'm testifying to and for the glory of God. The brother pastor said, Pastor, we learned some stuff today. <laughs> we learned some stuff today. And listen, this, this is what I say, and I ain't the Holy Ghost. Go tell it! Yeah. <laughs> Go tell it! Yeah. I, I told that young 22-year-old brother. I said, man, I wish I could, I wish I could get you. And, 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 I, and, and here, see, here's the thing. Here's the thing, y'all. It is not what you say. It's what you do. Y'all hear me? Yes. Mm -hmm. what, what would you say? I told that brother, I said, I wouldn't say a that dumb thing. I'd say, watch this. I'd say, watch me. Right. Yes. Yes. Do like Jesus does. Yes. And I say does because he's still doing it. That's right. Our God is still healing the sick. Yes. Our God is still regulating man. Yes. Our God is still helping us to keep our sanity. Yes. Our God is still fixing us up as we love one another. Yes. He's still the same water vulture. Yes. Shut your mouth. Right, sir. Yeah. 
Let you know that he is risen. Be quiet about it. Because you don't know him. If you don't have the spirit of God, the word of God says you are none of his. Jerry, am I preaching? All right, I'm glad you went that way. <laughs> God is good, isn't it? Yes, yes. This is a this is a good word for us to share. Yes. This is a good word for us to apply. And listen, every instance, every instance of witnessing for Christ, you don't cause it. That's right. That's right. God gives opportunity. Yes. Just like those brothers that the other day, the, 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 the woman didn't know the CO, the CO. <laughs> <laughs> the correction officer didn't know. We, uh, she's supposed to have locked them brothers out. <laughs> but she didn't realize we were already locked in. <laughs> <laughs> we were already locked up. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. God does work in mysterious ways. Brother said, man, said, don't you all realize that this is by divine providence? Yes, yeah. We're supposed to be in the lockdown. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. Let me echo. This is by divine providence. Mm -hmm. We're supposed to be uh -huh. in the lockdown. Yeah. But Jesus died. Yeah. 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 Got put in a, another man's tomb. Yeah. 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 And rose the third day morning. Yeah. Yeah. With all power, yeah. all power yeah. in his hand. Yeah. Yeah. He then stayed here for 50 more days. Yeah. 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 Then at once he ascended back to his father. Yes. And he left this for us. Uh -huh. Go ye therefore uh -huh. and teach all nations, uh -huh. uh -huh. baptizing them yep. in the name of the Father, yep. in the name of the Son, uh -huh. and of the Holy Ghost. Yeah. And watch it now, because uh -huh. I am with you, uh -huh. even until the end.
of the church. This is one of the two ordinances that the Lord left for the church to apply, to conduct. It is baptism and what we call the Lord's Supper. So then, it is for us to share with you this is not a game and we should not take it as such. The bread represents the body of our Savior, which was given for us at Calvary. The drink that we drink <coughs> represents his blood that was shed for us on that dread day. We are to let you understand, to have you to understand better said, that to play with this thing is to play with your own life. So I'm going to get too no. The Corinthian church, they played with this thing. The Bible says that some of them got terribly ill. And then it also goes on to say, and some of them died. Don't play with God. Amen. Obedience is better than sacrifice. Y'all say amen. Amen. amen.
tea and drink together. Amen. Thank you, Lord. The word of God says, that as they had finished proper supper, that they raised up from the dining area, they raised up from the dining area, and they began to sing a song a hymn of their choosing. We don't have a mount of olives to go to. But we can choose a hymn and consider ourselves dismissed. God bless you and have a blessed